first thing you need you need to do when you have a no start condition is or, or any kind of trouble uh, with your truck um, you want to make sure that the battery voltage is, is up and the device is charging or the, the alternator is charging the vehicle so in this truck battery's right here common terminal is right here and the positive terminal is right here the reason why they orient the battery in this way is so that if you're using a wrench to adjust uh, oh by the way it's also got double terminals there's a the positive and my my common is uh, under there the reason why the commons always towards the firewall or it should be is uh, if you're using a wrench and you had a wrench that touched the, the fender or some part around here uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna weld the wrench to it if um, if this was the positive terminal and used a wrench and you hit the fender you'd uh, you'd be welding so anyway there's the battery check for uh, voltage on the battery you should be sitting over 12 volts when the vehicle's not running maybe 12 and a half 12.8 something like that and then when it's running at idle uh, 13 to 13 and a half is not unusual um, I would say 14 would probably be too high and you might have a regulator problem and if you're uh, if you're not able to charge at over 12 and a half when you're idling um, or even uh, even if you rev it up a little bit then you might have a weak alternator or an extraordinarily heavy load on your electrical system like all your high beams on and brake lights pressed and signal lights and radio subwoofers like if you have like a super huge heavy load it's possible your alternator cannot keep up with that load and your uh, it still may in fact be a good alternator but your load is your uh, electrical load is too heavy so um, that's the first thing you want to check is make sure you've got adequate voltage on the battery and uh, when you start the vehicle if it will start the uh, voltage should rise by uh, probably half a volt or, or more depending on the state of the charge of your battery uh, if it's if it's 12 volts or 12 and a half volts without running I'd expect to see you know at least half a volt more than that when it's running okay that concludes this video on battery charge state